Welcome to Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbach. This is the podcast where I encourage you to go out and take your dream, receive your destiny from the Lord Jesus, the destiny that He planned for you before the foundation of the world. This is the territory that God has ordained for your life. It's a big dream that you have, and it can happen. Every good thing is waiting for you, and today we're going to talk about making that visible in your life. Stay tuned for today's episode. Hello, I'm Jamie Rohrbaugh. This is Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbaugh. I'm so glad you've tuned in today. Today, I am going to just be praying for people who are single, but you're in a relationship. If you're dating someone or interested in someone, I want to just pray over you today. And I pray that you'll join with me and agree with me for the Lord's best will for your life. Stay tuned. Hey, friend, again, thanks so much for tuning in. Today's podcast is specifically for people who are in a relationship, but you're not married yet. So you're single, you're in a dating relationship, or you're friends with someone with romantic intentions. And if that's you, no matter who you are, I want to pray right now. I'm not going to be teaching necessarily during this podcast, unless a squirrel runs by, that is. But I just want to pray for you. So would you just join with me right now in prayer as I pray the word of God over your life, and over your relationship. Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, I love you and I thank you for my friend. Lord, I pray that right now you would help them because I thank you that you are our helper. You are our ever-present help in time of trouble. Lord, I thank you that you love them, that you know the end from the beginning. You know your very best plans for them. Lord, all of their days were written in your book before any of those days existed. Lord, I thank you for that, and I praise you, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, I call on you, and I call on your mercy right now for my friend. Lord, I don't know what your best will is for this relationship, but I know that you know. Lord, I pray right now that you would guard my friend's heart. Lord, I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over the relationship right now that my friend is in. Lord, if this relationship is your will, If it is your very best, if these two people are your best plan for one another, then Lord, I pray you'd bring them together. And I pray that you would convict them and that they would draw closer to you. And in doing so, they would draw closer to one another. But Father, in the name of Jesus, if this is not your best will for them, I ask you to show them that and that you would gently separate them with their eyes both on you so that you can bring them into whatever your best plan is. Now, Father, as they're walking together, whether the relationship is a long-term one or a short-term one, Lord, I ask you to give them both wisdom. Lord, I pray that they would hear your voice behind them saying, this is the way, walk in it. They'd always obey and never turn to the right or the left. Lord, I pray that they would see clearly with your eyes. They would hear with heaven's ears, Father. They would say only what you say and do only what you do. Lord, I pray for the man that he would love this woman. If she is your highest and best for him, that he would love her as Christ loves the church. And for the woman, if this man is your highest and best for her, Lord, I pray that she would love and respect and submit to the man according to your will and your word, Father God. But Lord, that neither of them would be doormats, that you would teach them both how to have a spine, that you would teach them proper biblical relationship, Father, where each one esteems the other as better than themselves, where they're just constantly loving each other, serving each other, affirming each other, protecting each other, Father God, where they are willing to give themselves for one another, but their other partner, their other friend, their other person is so busy giving themselves for them too that, Lord, it's just a constant whirlwind of love and care. Lord, I pray that you would help them to see clearly how to love one another in a godly way. I pray they'd be pure. Father, if there are any sexual relations going on outside of marriage, I ask you to convict them. I ask you to give them repentance, Father, and that they would stop sinning against you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that if it is your will for these two to be married, that you would move them towards that, open both of their hearts towards that, Lord, show them what to do, when to do it, what to say, when to say it, Lord. I ask you to provide the money for the ring and the wedding, Lord, and for the courtship. But Father, I pray that neither person would mess with the other's heart and that they would both be so honoring towards the other, so pure toward the other, Father. 
I pray, Lord, that you would show them how to treat one another with honor and dignity and respect. And Lord, if it's your will for them to end up at the marriage altar, you bring them there, Lord. You disciple them there. But Lord, let them walk in purity. Let them walk in holiness. And don't let them get into anything or do anything that is not your very highest and best and most perfect will. Lord, you are our shepherd. You are our keeper. I ask you to shepherd and keep my friend right now who's in a relationship. Lead them and guide them. Help them, Father. Let their eyes stay on you. Help them to keep their eyes on you, Jesus, the author and finisher of their faith, who for the joy set before you, Lord, you endured the cross, despising the shame. Now you've sat down at the right hand of God. Lord, you be glorified in this relationship, whether that means that you're bringing them together permanently or whether it means you need to separate them. Let your will be done and your kingdom come. Your kingdom come on earth and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give them wisdom, Lord. Let them humble themselves under your mighty hand, and in due time you will exalt them. Thank you, Father. We love you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, if you're in that relationship, I just pray for you, and I pray that you would agree with this prayer, that whatever God wants, that's what you would want, and that you would be so humble to follow him no matter what that looks like, whether it's following him to the altar with this person or whether it's separating from this person. I pray you not awaken love until it pleases, but when it does please the Lord to awaken your heart into that marriage relationship, that you and your future spouse would just live to love Jesus and love each other by giving yourselves one to another, serving one another every day in love. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope this prayer has been a blessing to you. Please check us out on our website from hispresence.com. Subscribe to this podcast. We'll be so grateful to get to know you a little better. And I pray that all our podcast episodes will be a blessing to you. Hang in there in Jesus. Jesus loves you. He's got a plan for your life. Just seek him and he'll bring you into it. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.